ladies and gentlemen, I am back, and today I'm going to give you my predictions for WWE Night of Champions. Yes, Night of Champions is back, and it's going to be in Saudi Arabia t this Saturday. Um, even though that we have two championship matches that are not in the pay-per-view for some reason, we have the United States Championship that's going to happen on Friday Night Smackdown, which is tomorrow. And we only have um, the women's tag team match happening on the day, two days after um, the pay-per-view. And in case you're wondering, no, I'm not telling them premium live events. I'm just telling them pay-per-views. Because that's what they are. Anyways, so for this match, I mean, so for this um, pay-per-view event, we have full title matches. Three women's matches, two non-title matches, and one new championship to decide who's going to win the new World Heavyweight Championship. Anyways, let's begin. <clears throat> Natalia versus Rhea Ripley. Yeah, sorry Natalia, you're not going to win this one because Rhea Ripley just got the championship two months ago and I don't think they're going to take it off of her anytime soon, so we are what we going to win. And um yeah. Asia versus Bianca Belair for the Wild Women's Championship. Even though that they are on SmackDown. Same thing with the SmackDown Women's Championship. Even though that the two women who are facing each other for that title Ah, oh, sorry, my allergies must be acting up. Oh, uh, from Monday Night Raw. <clears throat> Anyways, um, I'm predicting that they want Bianca to retain the championship, but in my opinion, I, I still think it's time to take the title off of Bianca because she has had it all the um, entire way. I want to say like year and a half or two years. I don't know how long. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm predicting that Austin is gonna win this one because I'm pretty sure Triple H wants to build up Austin to be this unstoppable um, superstar in the women's division, and um, even though that this title opportunity has no storyline. Well, it kind of does. It started back in um, WrestleMania, but still. By the way, the Natalya and Rhea Ripley match with the SmackDown Women's Championship has no storyline, so... Yeah, just see around know well. <clears throat> Twist Stratus vs. Becky Lynch. Case you're wondering, no, this isn't a WWE TA 23 Universe Mode Decision. This is actually happening in real life. Um, I'm pretty sure that um, Becky Lynch might win this one. Because um, I'm pretty sure that they want to build up Becky Lynch to become champion once again in the future. And... Besides, if um, Twitch Stratus doesn't win, um, I hope that this um, storyline is going to continue until SummerSlam. I don't think we're going to have a match at Money in the Bank, which is happening next month. So I'm predicting that Betty Lynch is going to win, and during the uh, main event, which is going to happen um, also on Saturday in Saudi Arabia, um, the main event. I'm predicting that Twitch Stratus is going to get involved of the main event, which um, I'm going to talk about later on. Anyways, time for the men's matches. Starting with Mustafa Ali versus Yamta. So, um, this storyline began back in this last week. Um, he was in a battle royal to determine who would be. Um, the number one Nintendo ship for Intercontinental Championship, and we stop him. Are we won that match? But 
I don't think he's going to win the Intercontinental Championship. Because, one, ever since after NXT and 205 Live in his career, even though that he has been in the main roster for like a long period of time now, I don't think Mustafa Ali is going to win the championship because he kept on losing all the time. Even though that he was in um, Retribution, he kept on losing all, all the time. And plus, they give him a new gimmick, and, well, to be honest, I don't see Mustafa Ali as an Intercontinental Championship because, like I said, he kept on losing match after match in his entire career in the WWE. Even though that they try building him up again, being the leader of Retribution back in 2020. The year that nobody wants to talk about. But, anyway. I'm pretty sure that Young is going to retain the championship belt. There might be an opportunity that they might take off the championship. The, um, Intercontinental Championship of Young Fu, so you know, after the World Heavyweight Championship, which we're still going to be talking about, but, sorry Mustafa Ali, um, Young Fu's going to win this one, so, my money is on Young Fu. Now it's time for, um, the Undisputed Championship Tag Team Title Belt. Um, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens versus um, Roman Reigns and Solo Sahila. Yes, it's not the Usos this time. So how do we got here? Well, this match happened back in WrestleMania when um, the Usos were still tag team championship, and then they lost belts to Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, also known as Team Tell Me. Yes, I'm calling them Team Tell Me. Because of their names. And, um, anyways, so, at Backlash, they got a rematch, and the Usos lost on that rematch. But things have been becoming a little bit interesting for the Bloodline. Well, ever since that the Bloodline kept on losing matches, like, Jimmy and Jay kept on losing matches, and we thought that they were going to go to Monday Night Raw during the draft. And, um, so far, I'm surprised they didn't. So, I'm pretty sure they're building up a feud with Kevin, wait, not Kevin Owens, Solo and Roman Reigns versus the Usos Somewhere around Summer Slam. So, that might be a possibility. But, for now... My money's on Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Because it's still too soon... Um, for Kevin and Sami Zayn... Um, to lose the title belts because they always want it. And plus, it's also too soon to separate them as a tight team. So, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are going to retain the championship. Time for all three main events, everybody. Coming up first is Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. Now, this storyline has been going really good. Now, why are we here? Well, this match happened back in Backlash, even though that it should have been Roman versus Cody for the Undisputed Championship. Um, so, Cody told Roman and the Bloodline that he wants a rematch, and then Brock Lesnar comes out because, um, he says that he'll beat all of them, and we got this tag team match, which was Brock Lesnar and Cody versus the Bloodline, but turns out that Brock Lesnar wants nothing to do with Cody, so he gave him, like, Suplex City after Suplex City, and he kept on beating him up, and he kept on antagonizing him. That is until Backlash, when we got a match of both Cody and um, Brock Lesnar. Um, Cody Rhodes 
won that match. And um, Brock Lesnar beat um, Cody Rhodes during the World Heavyweight number one Nintendo's tournament. Um, and this week, which was on Monday Night Raw, he beat up um, Cody Rhodes three times. And um, Cody has a broken arm. So Triple H came into his locker room, told him that um, we might pull you out, out of the match, but Cody Rhodes says no, so here we are. So who do I want to win? Well, I'm rooting for Cody Rhodes because if Cody Rhodes can do it with a broken limb, I'm pretty sure he can do it because we remember what happened back in Hell in a Cell last year that we see Cody fighting Seth Rollins. He had like a broken torn muscle and he still pulled through. So, there might be a opportunity, I mean, yeah, there might be an opportunity that Cody Rhodes might win again and probably rewriting history of what happened back in Hell in a Cell of 2022. So, my money is on Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is going to be Brock Lesnar. And now it's time for two out of our three main events, which is... Um... Oh wait, I think we're in match three, sorry. I got confused. And now it's time for a um, match three of our three main events. Um... Which is, um... Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles for the new World Heavyweight Championship. So how do we get here? Well, on an episode of Monday Night Raw a month ago, Triple H says that Roman Reigns has been an unstoppable championship and he is the best championship and super, I mean the best champion and superstar in the WWE. Even though that he's also a part-timer. So Triple H had a good idea. He introduced that there was going to be a tournament to decide who's going to be the new World Heavyweight Champion. And he's wondering, yes, I really love the, the design of the belt. It is the same as the original World Heavyweight Championship. And the difference is, is that there's a W in the center of it. So, we have this tournament and the final, final two competitors um, for Monday Night Raw, Seth Rollins from Smack, SmackDown is AJ Styles. Um, there have been rumors that Seth Rollins may or may not um, win this title belt because he is doing movies now. Um, he's probably going to be in the new Captain America movie, which I keep on hearing about. And as for AJ, I don't see AJ winning this championship belt because, um, one, he's on SmackDown. And if he wins, that means that entire announcement of that title belt in the Monday, Monday Night Raw will be totally pointless. And two, I don't see AJ Styles winning that title belt anyways because, um, one, Seth Rollins is on Monday Night Raw, even though that he's doing movies now. Well, he's going to be in a movie now, in the near future. And two, there might be a possibility of Becky Lynch or Twist Stratus throwing them over. Yeah, that's what I said. Um, they both might get involved of the match. They might both get involved in the match because of what happened earlier in the night. Um, sorry guys, that was my cell phone. Um, so, I'm predicting that Betty Lynch might be a distraction to AJ because Seth Rollins will give him the whole stomp, and he might pin him one, two, three. 
So, yeah. I'm predicting that um, Seth Rollins is going to win the World Heavyweight Championship and he's going to be um, the new World Heavyweight Champion. And yeah, those are my predictions for WWE back. Ah, why did I say backlash? I almost said backlash. Um, WWE Night of Champions. Um, let me know what you think of my predictions, and let me know what what are your predictions for um Night of Champions and um that that is coming out this Saturday. So please leave me a comment and let me know who do you want to win. And all those seven matches of Night of Champions. Alright guys. Um, I'm so excited for this Saturday. It comes out at 12pm in Amelia. But I'm going to watch it at 6pm. Because um, I have to work on that day. And I love my job. And yeah, let me know what um, other videos you want me to do. Um, next time, I'm going to be talking about um, what's going on with SpongeBob. Because um, we need to know, um, I want to talk about what's been going on with Spongebob because um that show has been that show's like a kid's version of The Simpsons and I'm pretty sure I'm, I want to talk about um don't get me wrong I really love Spongebob but that show's have been running too long again it's time to talk about it anyways um always be champion um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out.